Yes. Be square, yeah. Uh, now the series is set in Pontyberry, which is a completely made up place, isn't yeah. it? Because it's Ferndale in, yes. in the valleys, which is actually the place. Um, why did you choose there? What was, what was it about Ferndale? Uh, well, we knew we wanted to set it in the South Wales valleys. Uh, I mean, partly because of Gavin and Stacey, uh, and it, I wanted to write something that was Welsh. Uh, originally, I thought, oh, should I move it to Bristol? I thought, no, I don't know anything about Bristol. So I know more Welsh actors. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so uh, I just thought the valleys would be brilliant because I love the way people speak in the valleys. Um, it, there's a beautiful rhythm to the language, and also the the, the location is fantastic. It's absolutely beautiful. So we did trawl um, um, myself and the series producer uh, David Pete. We trawled the South Wales valleys looking for suitable locations, and we still kept coming back to Ferndale, um, which we had used when we, we um, co-produced uh, Charles Christmases in Wales. So we came back to the same location. Series producer being your husband. My husband, yes, he is indeed my husband, and uh, we. It's our production company, Tidy, that makes it. So. You mentioned Gavin Estate, and of course that did wonders, didn't it, for tourism yes. in Barry Island. And residents in Ferndale, which has been compared to Tuscany by some, <laughs> are hoping <laughs> that Stella will have the same effect, and this is why. <laughs> it's not as posh as, as Tuscany and what have you. Plenty of beautiful places, the mountains, and to go for picnics on, on nice days when the sun shines. You can step out of your house and go for a walk into the green pastures in the mountains in two minutes. This is light rain. Normally it's summer in there. <laughs> There's a three and a half mile walk up to a place called San Manor. Match of beauty in its own right. And it's got a lovely pub there with lots of real air in it. <laughs> uh, so I do wander over there now and again. People in third day always have a good party. Yeah, it's been quite a few good ones recently. Just enjoying themselves, yeah. There are quite a lot of characters in Ferndale, yes. Stella, I think. They ask what valley life to the screen, because it is, on the whole, a valley life is. We do have sunny days. And believe in me, when the sun shines in Ferndale and Blind, especially on Blind Track High, during the summer, there's no finer place to be. Isn't that right? There's the proof. What lovely people they are. And some of the best fucking brilliant. Alan, there, he looked like um, uh, Patrick Moe a bit, didn't he? <laughs> and the second Alan, the yeah, first the second Alan. Alan. Is everyone yes. called Alan? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alan Jones, mainly. The first Alan. <laughs> yes. You know him. Um, the first Alan. Yes, he lives on Stella Street, Alan Jones. Hello, Alan. Um, well, hello, generally Alan, all the Alan. <laughs> um, can I put right? It was Paul Kay. I had a mental bl blip earlier. Paul Kay is playing Peshman the New Peter Kay. Comedian, not Peter Paul K. Actor. I'm sorry, Paul, if you're watching. I had a mental blip there. Um, yes, so the, I think Glendale does look beautiful. Yeah. It, it, that's on a rainy day, but on a sunny day, it's absolutely stunning. That it does indeed fun. look like Tuscany. Yeah. Well, you can see Stella this Friday, as Ruth said. <laughs> and this guy's.